<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Cafecito Time Podcast. Thank you guys for joining us. And uh, let's go ahead and dive in with some coffee, which I'm going to go ahead. You, hey, we're cheers, do baby. It like, like yeah, how y'all going like, to sit? Because she oh, said she's going to share. We should get straws and then y'all just do it like a... Uh, double straw? <laughs> oh, let's do it. <laughs> like a uh, lady yeah. in the tramp? <laughs> like lady in the tramp. <laughs> she's the lady, I'm the tramp. Hey, but instead of, it's better this, instead of the spaghetti part, it's just like, it's hey man, straw. you drank all of it. It's, a little, it's, a, <laughs> it's a little fallopian yeah. tube straw yeah. type of thing. But uh, yo, I want to start off by saying thank you, Houston, Texas, for showing out. Four shows slammed to the gills during rodeo cook-off. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous once I kept hearing all the feedback like, bro, that's, that's rodeo cook-off weekend, carnal. I'm not going to make it, fool. What am I going to do? They're like, why would you do that? They're like, why would you? Why did y'all? But hey. And then there was fights that broke out at the rodeo cook-off. So like, y'all are better off coming what? ours. Yeah. No, I, I, saw, like, I saw something because oh, I think Mario did a video on it. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, everybody, inhale the good stuff. Somebody sounds like they oh, congested. Oh my gosh! It was hot. What happened? I ain't know it was that hot. <laughs> oh my god, you, you dropped it all on me. Sorry, are you okay? Me. Damn. So, man, tea. okay. Hey, working hazard. Uh, that was, Straws uh, are not good for super hot <laughs> coffee. This Damn. Man, I should have put Sorry some ice that. in it. No, no, it's yours. Uh, I just want to do the simultaneous sip. <laughs> wow, I'm injured. <laughs> but, um, Working hazard. Yeah, that was like extremely hot. But um, shout out to everybody that bought out all of the Cafecito Time sweaters. That's a nice um, hat, big dog. Thank you. This will be dropping real soon. But, um, but these are like, I think we maybe have one or two left or something. No, I think we only have... I think two. two. Yeah, like yeah. two left. Mm -hmm. Like two left. And um, let us know if y'all want us to bring them back in t-shirt form or maybe have some mugs coming. But uh, that was and a big tumblers. surprise. That was a big surprise was was at Houston. Like Houston showed up and then all of a sudden I was like, me, at the first day, me, me and PJ were, were loading up the merch and stuff. And then I was like, man, let me just take, what well, do you think I should take some sweaters? And PJ's like, we'll just take one of each. Those things sold and we were like, oh, dang, let's just bring all of them to the show for the next day. And then they're, Basically, all went like right. Man, well, can't thank you guys enough. We appreciate it so much. Uh, Marisol has some pop ups coming up. You want to have a bunch of them? So this weekend, the first, I'm sorry, second and third of March, I will be at St. Thomas High School uh, for their carnival event. Um, Saturday night, it's in the evening. It's from five to eight, and then Sunday it's from eleven to five. What kind of what kind of apparel are you bringing? Like what? Kind I'm of doing the, the rodeo stuff. So I'm I'm definitely bringing rodeo. I just they just got in. Should we show them on camera the new boots? Go ahead and I grab. Think you should. Woo! Go ahead, grab the boots. Show while I while I uh, before we get into conversation and cheese man stories, um, and while she goes walks over to get the boots uh this weekend i'll be in canyon lake texas at goofy's i love performing there it's super chill super laid back it maybe it's something in the air maybe it's it's the lake carnal matthew juve says it has something to do with the bikinis by the lake and it's crawfish season something about daisy dukes but uh we have a special guest or a special a special person coming in right yeah. besides uh besides oh Steve yeah Ryan. that's right man man this is so major um i love this dude very funny cam bertrand uh, he was on like america's got talent correct america's got talent um he, you could find his clip on there that one went super viral when they put it out and yeah and uh yeah he's, yeah he, he's, he's but he's he, he's moving to texas he's about to blow up even bigger so uh if you want to be one of the lucky ones to see cam bertrand feature for me uh i'm very lucky that he's he's down to do that he's able to do that because that's probably gonna be very tricky to do. So we got lucky, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think he he moves to Texas like the day before. I'm like, bro, I know you're in the process of moving, uh, but please pull up with your boy at Goofy's Canyon Lake this Saturday, and then the next day we're in Lubbock, Texas, with the homie Jesse Payton, uh, Juan Perez, Theo Juventino, myself, uh, many surprises, many guests. We'll see you guys at the office in Lubbock, Texas. Da -dun -da -dun. Show and tell right today on Cafecito Time. We have. Florence. I like to call it como la flor. Como la Florence. That's my Tanto Amorens. I'll put it on the table with Marisol. That way you can have some space. Can you put it right okay. Alright, here we go. Here's the real deal, y'all. It is the real deal. Holy field. She's getting it. Bear with go. us. Here we go. Here they come. Here we go. 
Das. Yo, those are, are these icy. not F and Fire? Bro? Okay, do they have a male version? I was about to say it was like Chingo. Chingo had the Nike. They, they look at this. Those coming in with these She's floors. Flexing look at on this me. embroidery on She's it. She's stunting on me right now. She is. I mean, this on me. embroidery is in just bling 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 blau. If you think you're watching QVC, you are not. This is some of the rodeo stuff that her apparel. Uh, you can pull up. I a, a am so up. proud of those. Are they not just so nice? Yeah, these are badass. These are amazing. Yeah, I know. A lot I of agree. colors. So, ladies, so pretty. It is rodeo season. Get your mind right. And they're not cheap material either. Before y'all think this is some kind of like Forever Twenty One, no clowning Forever Twenty One. It's not. <laughs> I mean, I shop. I get stuff from Forever Twenty One too. But I'm just letting y'all know for before real. You think it's a scam? They're really nice. They're actually like legit, really good. They're not some. Run of the mill. Yes. These ain't no middle of the mall rodeo boots. Look at that. I mean, they're just like so nice. So y'all pull up at the high. Look at this soul, though. Uh, Mighty Soul will also be at. Show them the soul. Show Look at the, the soul. soul. Like, bring it more in. There you go. So on the night, that's nice. On the night, her apparel will be at Eureka Heights Brewing, right? On the ninth, yes. Right next to our Urban Jungle Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. And then on the tenth, I'll be at um, Cafe Cafe. Cafe de Olla. Something. <laughs> she don't know the name of it, but uh, sh follow Marisol online. They just asked me to do it. Yeah, so. yeah. Follow Marisol online. She'll, she'll post it. These were on there as pre-order, but they officially have come in. So if you pre-ordered yours, I'm shipping them out tomorrow. Well, um, rodeo season is very exciting. Uh, what, what are some of your rodeo memories? You, you were at the Selena thing. I was thing, at the right? Selena thing. So that was my last good memory. I mean, I've had good ones after that. I mean, I was, I'm definitely... I went for many, 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 many years. Like when they played back to the Asa, to a big uh, birth, the big birth th tent. That oh, was my okay. tent to go to every year. I would go to that. I'd kick it off over there, off of. Um, so for you, it was chilly kickoff, not cook off. You was kicking it off. Huh? You were kicking I didn't get off. The, I didn't the get the joke, Chingo. Because you said I'd kick it off at Big Bertha. And Big Bertha isn't selling the cook off. Yeah, and then then what would you do? Because you kicking it off. And then I'd go every day, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, my G. I was just kicking it off. <laughs> yeah. I'd kick it off and then I'd go to the then rodeo. I'd leave. go to the concerts after that, you know, because that's just yeah. the opening. This will not oh, be that's her pre. <laughs> that's, her, that's her pre-party, bro. Yeah. That used to be her pre-party. And now, you know, it's running the doctor's appointments with the kids. Yeah, that, uh, that's where I was at all morning. Know, going to bed early, trying to get up on time for these cheering, you know. These cheering. But yeah, uh, rodeo is a special time for those that do not know. If you're watching from out of state, if you're listening from out of state, uh, San Antonio has a rodeo too, right? Yeah. Is, is it as big of a deal? Do you no. Yeah, they do it for a whole month. What are you talking about? It's, it's huge. And it, you, it's a must thing. Like, you got to go. Everybody's there. Like they Fiesta. Do, yeah, they do all kinds of stuff there, man. I, but Fiesta's bigger, though, for y'all, right? I, I think they're both huge. I mean, Fiesta's big. Like, that one's like... But that one's only like what, like a whole week or something, like a whole slow like two week. Weeks. It's, like, it's like a couple weeks because you have like Niosa, you got a oyster. Bait. I think that's all within the week, though. I think it starts like on a Tuesday, ends on like on a Sunday or something like that. And I think like uh, rodeo is only is like, a week. I think nah, maybe I'm tripping, bro. dog. You are tripping because you got the stuff at uh, all the universities. Got something. You got oyster bait. It's you not a whole month though. You know what I mean? But like rodeo is like a whole month. Like rodeo, and then people have all the concerts that they go to, and then they have like the the. What is it? Uh, those carnival things? Yeah. They have all that. So, And then Dallas is known for the state fair. And uh, we tried going one year. And we couldn't even we find couldn't parking. We couldn't find parking. You couldn't even find parking. Our state fair. State fair? Yeah. I've never been to that. It, oh, my God. It's I mean, the... It's like a rodeo mixed with fiesta mixed with... <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. What's that called again? A state fair. State the state fair? fair. The Dallas State Fair. Yeah, it was crazy. When we went, how long did we were? I, listen, I was on a mission to, to do it for the vlogs. At that time, I was vlogging kind of heavy, and I was like, we got to do it. I need how, this footage. Before, I need this before footage. Before doing it for the gram was a thing. It was like, I did yeah. it for the vlog. It and the then, vlog. oh my God, how long did it take us? And we just gave up. It felt like an hour. It might have been 45 minutes. It was crazy. Just driving around. And then we did find parking, and it was like three miles away we like, to man. walk i was like i'm not walking three miles just to go to this festival sorry y'all uh my my son's mom she she has family that live down there and maybe they live like i don't know maybe like four or five blocks away from like the parking lot bro they from rake the in so much like well, san antonio I, I from the stadium i guess i don't know Did that like dallas. Did? yeah dallas 
Okay, you're talking about the Cowboy Stadium. Yeah, I guess okay, so. Okay, that's but that's else. where they rake in a lot of money is from yeah. the parking and stuff. They do that for the. the is that where they? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, it was yeah like, the State Fair mm-hmm. is like a different area. It's like more Oak Cliff, I think. And yeah, same thing. Like you thirty buck parking and stuff like that. It's just ridiculous, bro. Yeah. I wonder if the local nearby businesses like really benefit, or you're just taking up their parking as you're going in to the thing, and you're not e- able to make, you know, money. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, depending on, I mean. Dude, they're raking in like thirty dollars. Sometimes I saw like fifty dollar parking just because, just because the closer you are, the more money people are gonna pay. So I was like, yeah, yeah, fuck it, we'll just drop money. And and this is the time of year when like a whole bunch of like fun outdoor stuff starts to happen. Yeah, like when is Fiesta start? Is that March? February. Oh, is that about to start already now? Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, Fiesta. Because I, I think yeah, it was Fiesta March. Because back in my Probably rap, March. back in my rap days, like a lot. Because isn't it around spring breakish? E. Yeah. There's a reason why. Are you okay? Um, uh, back in our rap days, we Fiesta was like necessary. It was like you gotta be there, be seen. You know, have a backpack with some CDs or something. Like you trying to figure out how you could finesse. Shit, that was fun too. What part? (laughs) Fiesta. I would go there. I wouldn't remember. I saw that all the parties (laughs) and events. I like you I were was like you boy. were. I was being a good boy. Chingo's like I was, DVDs. No, on, on the other hand, I he was, was doing my Nyosa videos. That's a whole different He's thing. Like, nah, babe. I was like I was. Hey, look, I was there for business. Look, my, my tonsils, my tonsils wouldn't allow me. This boy was having girls <laughs> to have too much fun twerking it. Talking about, ah, oh, mm-hmm. she was at all the parties. Oh, wait till Tio Huvis song comes out. I'm a clienta connoisseur. Oh, Just yeah. a sign, we haven't door. even announced anything on it, so the people hearing this, they're gonna be like, "Wait, wait, we yeah, the who has oh, a song? Uh, What's going on?" You know, PJ got a hold of a copy of this song. How? Because I usually send him try. I, I would always send him like unreleased tracks oh. before they come out uh, to know if I got something or not, and uh, it's a good sign. He already memorized it. I quit He, uh, he memor- So I sent it to him. Like I was like, "Bro, did you hear Chingo?" Like he called me the day he was coming over, the day before he was coming over, and I said, "Did you hear the new song that Chingo did? Gave? Did Chingo send it to you?" He's like, "Nah, what's he, he got about me?" And I, I sent it to him. He's like, on, "He's like, oh my god, dude, I'm gonna be jabbing." By the time he got to the house. He was staying. He stayed there overnight, and all I hear is him playing the song in the other room, just like already singing it. And I'm Memorizing. like, "Damn, oh, that's, how you, that's how you know I got heat. <laughs> you got to test it out with the homies, man." So uh, Theo Hoover did his thing. So he he's 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 yo. Excited. If I heard one, I mean the Theo Hoover, <laughs> y'all they love him. The but Hoover you know what? But you know what? We have to get Theo Hoover some dope ass outfits. Not saying Chingo doesn't need dope dope ass outfits, but you know, Chingo. Yeah, I didn't brought out the new necklace. I was, I was. I know. I know. I can't believe you forgot there, right? it. I was okay. packing up and I was like, "What is this?" And it was Studio like, house. "Oh, I was like, oh, still the." <laughs> He still hasn't yeah, I told out. somebody told the other day. I was like, "Yo, Hoover didn't even wear his chain, bro, because he had his buckle. Yeah, All he needed what his was his chain. chain. Oh, he needs artwork so that that song can go on Spotify and iTunes. So yeah, we, uh, I we, just need to take a picture. We just need to get better at like how we're releasing stuff. But like other than that, like once we have it down, it's like, dude, every time you drop something, it's like boom in your face. Yep, yep, yep. And that one's gonna be big. I already know because, dude, think about all the sketches we've been doing and everything else, like. It, he's a thing right now, and everybody's just like, "Dude, don't stop doing it." Every time we put something else, and they're like, "Dude, this is the best one yet, dude." That's all I. Yeah, see. the last couple I looked at, they were like, "This is the best one yet." Yeah, someone was like, "This is art." They wow. were like, "There are gems in between this funny stuff." Well, because what happens is when we're doing it, it's like he's just dropping. It's it's funny, but at the same time, you can't deny that there's facts in there. Like, mm-hmm. It's like, dang, dude, I learned something. Or so there's at least amazing. a perspective of mm-hmm. like some big homie game. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Yeah, so... Um, Whatever video y'all released, y'all dropped yesterday, the comments were insane. They were going crazy over it. It was a uh, player versus Sancho. Yeah, the, uh, the players okay. are selfish. They have no honor. There's no code. <laughs> the players are just trying to take and see what they can get, and they're yeah. not really trying you to... You don't even get paid. Got yeah, you're not even getting paid. Got <laughs> There's no service. There's no service. You're all selfish. <laughs> like Stuff like that. So, so, so Juve is going to be on tour with us this year. Uh, Canyon Lake and Lubbock this weekend. After that, we have Midland, Texas on the 15th. San Angelo, March 16th. And then back to the West Coast, Covina, California, April 4th through the 7th. An entire weekend. Uh, all my homies been selling out that place. So everybody, do not make me That literally that. is around the corner. Wow. Yeah, all these. So we're just days away and uh, the tour is underway. And very happy to announce um, my manager, uh, wifeager slash agent, 
was working hard for your boy. She put in a solid coffee shop session Bro. and lined up some additional cities. So y'all be on the lookout because my tour poster. Um, yeah, it's about to drop. A, a, a lot of new cities, too. Some of these places you haven't been in years. Can you mention some off the top of your head? Or? Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. The and y'all, Mitten. If y'all listen to this, y'all been asking in the comments, and I've been like, hey, guys, I think we should go to Detroit. And man. You got to like, sell it, it out. Yeah, If y'all don't share the damn poster, because exactly. y'all, been, y'all been bitching about exactly. it for the longest time. We've seen Detroit for many years since you've been on tour. We've seen Detroit on there. Um, so y'all show I'm, up Hey I'm, y'all I'm, pull up Y'all share I want I want to see y'all The 8 mile 9th mile Southwest Detroit Hey if you guys are watching this And you're already subscribed And you guys follow Everything that Chingo does Just do us a favor All we ask Like all we're asking We're going to try to take down A lot of the, the You know the ads and stuff on, on Chingo social media But all we're going to ask you guys Just share the content Share the content Share the posters. Don't be selfish and get your ticket. I mean, if you get your tickets first, that's cool. But just share everything. Let your friends know. Tell and friend. It's going to be a fire show, guys. The more the merrier. It's going to um, be a fire show. We're coming with it. So For sure. I'm excited. I'm uh, very excited about that. Tampa looks like it's going to happen. Tampa. Um, Tampa, Florida. Be on the lookout. A couple other Tacoma. Florida spots. There's too many. Tacoma, to Washington. I don't have Gainesville. No, she's talking about the ones like and just, just added, Gainesville, yeah. Florida. Is it, oh, so it's not even on the one that you gave it's me. It's not on oh, anything. Damn. No, yesterday, literally, I sat like, there. I, 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 I that's had, what you meant whenever I you had said, her hostage, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what you meant yesterday. Whenever you're like, bro, we had a just, session today. Dude, I just kept bringing her coffee, bro. <laughs> Basically, I was, just like, I was like, you good? I try to keep her distracted. Don't like, slow down, babe. Don't slow down. <laughs> I, I, I like jammed her phone so she wouldn't get text messages from. Her sister, nothing like that. He's like, here's some more caffeine. Keep going. Yeah. I did. I, I, did, I did a whole like intelligence operation. Yeah, like, Theo Hoover bringing the bring had back up in, in the coffee shop. Like, if she gets distracted, just walk up and say something to me, and then I'll. Hey, afterwards he was in like, would you like to go have crawfish? I was like, what? She, hey, she earned it, bro. So I was like, would you like crawfish. to go have crawfish? Chingo, I was like, she's like, I gotta go. She was giving go. her the caffeine, and freaking Theo Hoover's over here giving her that liquid IV, trying to keep her Yo, hydrated. I was. I, I was I was about to like run and show you're not going run out of steam yet babe keep going hey, keep i was going. about to run next door get some crawfish and pull up at the coffee shop with some crawfish dang my five-year-old's over there singing, she's so. singing yeah she's trying to outshine it because like we're yeah. loud she's like oh you think you loud she's like i got headphones too <laughs> she, she already thinks she's a uh, ariel from <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah that's funny she's probably like this is my time to shine i want to get on there <laughs> yeah. like, y'all uh, <laughs> y'all hear her yeah Oh my god! So what? What were you gonna say? No, I was saying y'all. Like seriously, yesterday we were there. I went to the gym. I said, "Meet me at the coffee shop." Literally, we met at the coffee shop. We got some other work done real quick, and then after that, it was like bam, 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 yeah, bam. So I'm very blessed and very grateful because I know that she has my best interests in mind. Uh, I just got to kidnap her sometimes and feed her caffeine and crawfish, mm. but. Um, <laughs> I didn't get the crawfish though because I had Not to move yet. on to my next. Not yet. So. My next thing, y'all. Mm-hmm. Should I show them also the new bags? Those Go are in the it. car though. Go Those are in the it. car. I think, I think I think this is show and tell time. So whenever you're up here, like it, they're so cute though. I'm so excited. It. Go get it. Actually, yeah, I should just show them the coffee. shirt and the and the and the um, dress. And we'll just do it. We'll do it for the next episode. Uh, the next okay. episode. So y'all gonna watch? That's gonna be next week though. You should get it right now. Okay. Rodeo stuff, baby. Yeah, she gonna get it right now. So yeah, man. Um, shout out that uh, all the people have been showing love and support. Like this is twenty years in show business. This is my tenth year. Gonna be my tenth year doing stand up, and um, that's the thing, bro. Is like longevity in life, like everything being a marathon, and sometimes just hanging in there. You know, because nobody stays hot forever, right? There's gonna be hot moments and. You got to restructure. You got to switch some things up. So I'm just very, very happy and blessed. Well, just to guys, guys, just to put it in perspective, just so you guys know, and a lot of you guys are like, where's he been and stuff like this. He's been working like this is 10 years in comedy and developing a set and coming up like you guys got to think going from rap to comedy isn't a easy transition because you're coming into comedy where most guys that start out are unknowns and then they get known and then they have like fire sets only because they've been working that craft for 10 years before they even pop you're talking about chingo coming from and and this isn't even blowing up smoke up chingo this is literally what it is chingo came in with a with a crowd already so he already had a fan base 
and to come in and and go in on stage and bomb and things like that look at the way things go with ti every time ti goes up on stage with the comedy he gets lit up like man this guy sucked and all that other stuff like because he wasn't he's because he has a built-in fan base and you guys are holding him to the standard of like man when he raps he's way better keep your day job and all this stuff and you got to kind of put that negativity away and keep working and grinding until you get that so the the crazy thing is, is that chingo has been able to thrive and do that stuff and then come out of it to the point where it's like people are coming after the shows and like bro that shit was fire. wait they were booing ti yeah, they, they, they've been doing that for a while. Like, not right now, like, it's been a minute so since So, is he doing posted. better? Because I saw him on, uh, remember I told you, I was like, T.I.'s going to be here? I what th- club was that? Uh, Houston Improv. I think he's gotten I think, better. No. I think, But I think he's gotten better about announcing that stuff. But I think, like, before it was, like, you know, <clears throat> just going up there and doing stuff. But I think now it's a little bit more hush-hush. Like, hey, you know, like, they probably have something figured out where it's like, hey, man, uh, maybe don't. But you know what's so, things. okay, as someone who consumed comedy before versus... Actually, now that, you know, I'm kind of like in, in the whole thing. In the biz. In the biz, yeah. Um, there's so much that goes into it. It always like, it, it honestly always like amazes me how someone just thinks they can just do comedy. So I'm always curious like as to like T.I., like who told him that he could do comedy? Like who said, hey bro, you're hey bro, so you're damn funny, funny. you should go do comedy. Like who was that enabler? Well, well here's the thing though. Like, <laughs> who was that yes man? I th- so this is what I'll say about this with comedy you either got to be crazy or you have to be so naive that you come in that way and then if you fall in love with it you can keep going past that but you have to have that that naivety you be slightly thrown off yeah well you have to be naive a little bit because if like literally learning all the stuff I've learned about the business side like I look at a lot of people that aren't doing that and i are just going to open mics and stuff and then i even real and like now i'm realizing the bigger picture where i'm like damn they don't even know they're not even in the game at all yet like they haven't even gotten to that point to the point where they're thinking if i just get discovered it's gonna blow up and it's like dude no like there's a whole business side you gotta learn there's a whole like how you gotta leverage stuff there's like what are you doing for these other people how do you hang out like there's so much to it that if you look at it that way it's a lot of weight to carry where you're just like, mm-hmm. oh, that's why only 1% of the population is even successful mm-hmm. at that. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, it's a lot to think about. So if you're crazy or you just don't know, you, that's what keeps you going. But actually understanding it and looking at it, you're like, oh, shit, dude, that's yeah. <laughs> that's a monster to yeah. overcome. Yeah. Like in theory versus in practice. Right. Like exactly. all the little tiny things that will come with it. Yeah. So show us some of this stuff right here. First is. Oh, wow. Oh, no, How no. cute is this? So th- is this going to be at the Hive Rodeo Boutique? Point. It'll be at the Hive, and oh, then the I'm going to have it at the, at the um, what do you call it this weekend, at the pop-up. Boop, this boop, will boop, be boop. available at the pop-up. Rodeo Queen. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, How cute is that? So you'll be at uh, St. Thomas? St. Thomas High School. They got a cool pop-up happening for y'all. And then this is actually a dress. They, you know, there's a lot of people that don't want to wear all this like Western wear stuff, right? They're like, don't want to invest the money. So I mm-hmm. thought, okay, let me get y'all a little dress that you can wear while you take your kids to the uh, carnival. And it's a t-shirt Let's dress. Let's go, girls. And then you can just wear uh, your like cute little tennis shoes or like, Some little or, yoga like pants. where are my boots? You move the boots. So go comfortably. And not Where's only that, move, hey, even oh, when... Right not, not only that, Go on. but even whenever you're done with See? that, guys, you guys could wear this. You could wear you this at night. Up. Then you can put a, a belt on it. You can go see the Bum B concert. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Do, I'm gonna do a video of like how y'all can dress up this uh, shirt. So it's like real relaxed. And then on top of that, like even when the rodeo is over, you got a nightgown. Boom. There you <laughs> That's go. That's what I do. <laughs> so so if if you do make some content like that, just rodeo uh, apparel this. alone, you could probably make ten Look reels. This. Nice little soy jacket. I was Come thinking Theo Hoover needed one of these. I think Hoover needs one of those. Yeah, because then when he shakes his hair, he's going to shake the tassels. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that looks Is this not so pretty? Mm-hmm. Bro, didn't you have a jacket like that? You did. What you happened did. to it? There was a, a white one. Yeah, it, it's just what like. What happened to the white one? Yeah. This uh, is, this is man, good. I got stuff everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> See? Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all can go match into the next show whenever we do Houston. <laughs> You're going to wear these? They, do, this they have them in black. Boots. You want them in black? In black, in black what? Boots like, like this? That. They got flowers on them? They still? do. But hey, they're different flowers. I, I know Prince could pull it off, so maybe Hoover can too. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's why I told you, like, I really have this, like, so check this out, Juan. I was, like, sitting there as I was, like, looking at him on stage, and I said, okay, I got it. 
So I need to create some. I said, we're going to go thrifting and I'm going to make you some outfits that are um, Tigres del Norte meets, meets Dolly Parton meets Marfa meets. <laughs> Uh, meets Elvis. Uh, meets uh, Coachella. Mm-hmm. Co- exactly. Meets Nashville. Oh, dang. Hipster area. All of meets, it. Meets cartel activities. South of the <laughs> like, it needs to be like so over the top. Like, yeah. It's Tijuana meets Austin meets all of it. It's hard to subscribe, guys. It's, it's like, like, when you, one, it's like and, one and only. It's like when you, when you got a quinceanera at seven, but you got to drop off Chile at, at 11. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and shout out, shout out to to PJ because like PJ got PJ was handling merch and everything, so everybody else could go watch the show. Yeah, I might as well got to watch. Like I got everybody. to watch it. Yeah, no, it was funny. I was watching it, and then I go out after I did the video part. I always run down, and I'm like running outside to go help him. And he was like, I came right before all the crowd, and I said something like, oh, "Okay, I, I got it done." You know, and he goes, "Yeah, well." I'm glad you got to watch the show. I was like, oh, did you want to watch it? <laughs> he loves to watch. Because there was a point, too, where I would go check on him from time to time. And I'm glad I did because one, th- he's so dedicated. He was like, he's like, bro, I need to go to the restroom so bad, bro. I've been out here. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I was like, I got you. Why didn't he just text me? That's he, crazy. I don't know. He could just oh, left his stuff in. I know. <laughs> Ain't was, nobody uh, going to steal he's it. He's dedicated, bro. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I've been no, on PJ he is. for a long time. How long have you been on PJ, bro? Um, it might be probably about 15 years. Wow, that's crazy. He probably knows more accurate, but like, yeah, maybe 16 years, 15 years. Yeah, he was telling me he was telling me how much weight he had lost and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a different PJ. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was at 400 pounds or something, he said. I don't remember. And he got it, all the way down to like what he is right now, which is probably like maybe like 215 maybe or something. Probably less. And don't use the same napkin for the other eye if it itches, okay? You have to have a new napkin. Yeah, we're recording from home. <laughs> we, we got and my kid stayed in. home because she was sick. So she, we got one home and one at school. Yeah. The baby's at school. Yeah, so uh, very excited about this year. I, I just want to thank you on air for uh, filling up that summer. Boy, that's, I was getting scared. That and summer. a successful <laughs> Houston show. Oh, yeah. Everything. Thank you, guys, bro, man. That right and there. thank you, Juan. I want to thank you, man, publicly, personally, bro. Like, you go above and beyond the sacrifice. Uh, really, um, I don't know if Juan is on the spectrum, but... Uh, super on the spectrum. <laughs> but... Yeah, uh, I'm so glad you're on our team, bro, because you're able to analyze certain stuff and see it as a puzzle and like reverse engineer certain things. So uh, I, I am very blessed to have an excellent team. And that's how I know it's going to be an amazing year. And uh, and thanks to the fans for continuously pulling up year after year. I know a lot of people I would hear it's like it was their first comedy show ever. Like, even though we've been doing it so long, you're getting people that's like, dude, I haven't seen you on stage since the car shows or oh, I caught you doing stand up about six years ago yeah, or whatever. Well, so. this guy came to the merch table very serious and he said with a serious face, it takes a lot for a comic to make me laugh. Oh, I was there when you he know? said that. <laughs> and I said, really? He goes, and I was laughing from start to finish at this show. He was like, I'm glad I came. I was like, well, I'm glad you came I'm too. Glad you got some laughs, yeah. I said, I'm glad you got to come and get some laughs. And I said, and I'm glad you gave it a chance since, you know, I know you're so, like not thinking all comedians mm-hmm. are funny. I think it's also different. That's what I was going to talk about. Like in the comedy world, when people just think it's like one thing to be funny and even one thing to be funny on social media. And then it's a whole other like a different art form it's a whole different art form yes once you're on stage like he'll always say like you can easily do 10 minutes i was like i can easily not do 10 minutes like easily i cannot well the thing that makes chingo's show so so different from a lot of other comedy shows is that chingo brings a lot of good people to the stage and not only that it's so diverse in material that it's like like you know chingo can chingo has his own world of like what's funny and then you have you know Javi um, who has his have, own thing you're gonna yeah. have Cam Cam's completely yeah, different, different mix everything. and then mm. and then I, I try to come up with different things where it's like it's not as similar but it's like we all have different takes on stuff so when we're up there and we're just bringing like fire it's different like angles people are just like bro we subjects. found something we like from eat from whoever sure. it's yeah, like yeah. dude even if i didn't agree with you on that i just heard what this dude yeah freaking said like dude these these jokes are also go beyond just anything that you you're coming to see so when you go to other comedy shows you set a high bar i think because i mean going to other comedy shows i've seen where some guys will just bring like maybe the whole show isn't great you know or sometimes they'll have drop-ins in the show because you know the city makes them use certain people 
But like your shows are always top notch. That's that's the thing I, I don't think people understand. So whenever they first come out and then they go to a different comedy show, it's like, ah, it's not as like the other yeah. show. Or yeah, it's so. usually the time you go get your drinks. Uh, you go to the restroom is when other comics are opening because they're not as good. But I don't think in our show that's the case. Like I no. think all our comics from start to end are pretty damn good. And then Juve, we throw him up early. And I think it has to do with like your inception when you first came into comedy. Like you coming in and, and hosting first and then bringing killers and then just keeping up with those killers it's like like on stage that just do amazing has just raised your level so much that where you're only bringing that type of talent well, in the in the i think in the bible yeah. it, quote, it says iron sharpens iron or yeah. I, I think yeah, it's it in the bible no, it is, it is. Uh, see juan knows uh iron sharpens iron so um if, if you've been going through something if you got some type of drama or some some type of stress in your life we would love to uh, make you laugh. So um, uh, we heard it firsthand. Like, man, I was going through some stuff, man, and man, I needed that. So yeah. uh, looking forward to seeing you guys. Just hit up the website, get some info as we continue to add links and, and more and more cities. Uh, we appreciate you guys. And For pull sure. up on Marisol. She's got all the, all the fire me, rodeo. Again, I always tell y'all, if you say that you saw this on Cafecito Time, I give all those that say that y'all saw me live or y'all saw it on my a post or whatever. I give y'all fifteen percent only at the rodeo. I mean, only at the pop ups, but yeah, for sure. So. And then also, if you're in the Rice Village area, or if you're not, if you just wanted to go, you know, check out some shopping and get some shopping done, check out the Hive, guys. The Hive is there, and Shall and if you got use? your if you got your man with you, you can bring him too because they, you know, they. Cater. We are the store that pours. We will. <laughs> well, you know what? This is like inside baseball. Uh, this sounds more like a meeting, but um, I feel like like all the holidays that have passed, like Valentine's, for example, when it came to the Hive. I was kicking myself because I'm thinking to myself like, bro, uh, Juve or somebody should have been telling, like, in other words, it's like, we could have been telling the, the fellas and the men like, bro, I got you. All you got to do is go to this one place. Like if you're in the city. Oh, a commercial. Yeah. yeah I mean, you I mean. can still do it. Think about, think, yeah. guys, think about like, I don't know if any of you guys have ever gone to Victoria's Secret. I have for like some stuff in the past, <laughs> like when I was married. But like when I would go there, they would like go out of their way to help you. Like, let me help you find because they know like, I don't know shit. Yeah. So like, that's what the hive does. They'll be like. You guys yep. need help. What do you need? Okay, yep. cool. This Who, will, will okay. help you out. Okay, hey, she like? you want some champagne? Hey, yeah. you want a, you want a beer? Yeah. Okay, I got you. Well, what kind of tequila you like, player? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next week. Cafecito time. Much love. Peace. Bye.